important information was kept from we the people days before the most important election we have, election of President of the United States, election of the Commander in Chief. In a survey last fall, four out of five Americans said they believe there's a two-tiered system of justice in America today. They said that because there is. They said that because of what they've witnessed. Think about what Americans have seen. The National School Board Association, left-wing political group, writes the White House and asks them to treat parents as, at school board meetings as terrorists. And the Garland Justice Department does just that. They put together a memo, set up a dedicated line of threat communication, a snitch line on parents. As a result, parents get investigated by our FBI, get a threat tag associated with their name, 25 of them. Because whistleblowers came and told us we're investigated by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Americans have seen the FBI's Richmond Field Office put together a memorandum saying pro-life Catholics are extremists. They've seen 20 FBI agents, SWAT team members, show up at the home of Mark Halk and arrest him in front of his wife and seven children, even though he had indicated he'd be happy to turn himself in. And what was he arrested for? Him and his 12-year-old son were praying outside an abortion facility. Some guy starts screaming in his son's face, and he, and he did what, what, frankly, any dad would do, defended his child. What's interesting is the National School Board Association apologized for the letter, but the Attorney General refuses to rescind his directive. The FBI did rescind, thank goodness, the Richmond Catholic Memorandum, but they refuse to tell Congress who wrote it and who approved it. 